Hey, what's going on everyone? Nate here back at you with a, another review video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at another USB microphone. But this one is different. From the crazy cylindrical design to the bright LED light, the Theron Max Pulse isn't like any mic I have seen before. But is that good? Let's find out. Design is definitely a huge part of the Thrawn Max Pulse's appeal. And to be honest, the features that Thrawn Max added to this product are not only great to look at, but also very functional, which is nice to see. The LED light on the back, while it looks cool all by itself, also acts as a microphone mode and mute indicator. You can switch between cardioid and noise canceling audio modes, which I will be touching a bit on later. The light lets you know which mode you have currently enabled by either a solid color for cardioid and a breathing color for noise canceling. The light also turns red when the mic is muted. Another example of an aesthetically pleasing design element on the Thron Max Pulse that also has great functional value is the braided USB Type-C cable. And I know, yes, I was very excited as well when I heard that this had USB Type-C. But I was as if not more excited to also see the inclusion of a braided cable to go along with it because they are far less likely to fray than regular plastic ones. They also look a whole lot nicer on your desk as well. Along with the LED light and braided charging cable, another really cool aspect of this microphone's design, which I'm sure all of you noticed right off the bat, is its shape. It kind of resembles a very thin can with a hexagon microphone grill on the front. Now, despite it being slightly less easy to mount because of its shape, I honestly really like the cylindrical design Thron Max went with a pulse. Build quality is really great for it being below $50, and it has a few metal elements used throughout, but it's mostly made out of really high quality plastic, which I'm not going to complain about either because it has this really nice matte finish. On the bottom, you'll notice a standard microphone mount for a stand. One actually comes with this mic along with a ball head, which is a really nice inclusion, especially for those who are just getting started and don't have a stand to use at home. The stand is also built extremely well. It's all metal and it folds up so you can easily take it places. Now I have gone over this a little bit before, but in the back you have a USB type C port for connecting to your computer, a headphone jack for direct audio monitoring, which is extremely helpful for finding your levels before recording. There's also a button to control the mic modes and a headphone volume control. Design wise, I think Thron Max really hit the nail on the head with this mic. Nowhere on the market are you gonna find a microphone that looks like this. They were able to offer a very unique and clean aesthetic while also incorporating a lot of functional aspects into this microphone as well, which just by itself would make this microphone one of the top I have tested under $50. But just wait until you hear this microphone. It's gonna blow you away. And in fact, you have actually been listening to it this whole time. I'm not using this microphone over here, which is the Behringer B2 Pro. That is my normal go-to mic. I'm actually using the Theron Max Pulse right here. And as you can hear, it's absolutely incredible. Now going into the review of this product, I thought the inclusion of all these crazy features and all the crazy design language and all that garbage was just to cover up the fact that this microphone simply did not sound well, because sometimes companies do that. However, that was far from the truth. Now this whole time you have been listening to the microphone in the cardioid mode. But as I said before, there is also a noise canceling mode. I made a test for you guys of me using the Thron Max Pulse in its noise canceling mode while also typing very loudly behind it on a mechanical keyboard. So here's the test and I'll let you interpret the results for yourself.
in the test with the noise reduction on, you can definitely hear a lot of distortion and just some weird noises going on with the mic. But that is because it is trying to block out all other distractions and just focus on the audio that is going directly into it. This mode is going to be great for if you have an extremely loud environment that you're recording in. However, as you also heard with the cardioid mode on, although you can hear the background noise a lot more, the audio quality is definitely a lot cleaner. So if you can, I would try to record in a fairly quiet room so you don't have to mess up the audio even more with the noise reduction on. Now don't get me wrong, the noise reduction on this microphone is really great. I just don't recommend it unless you really, really need to because as you heard, it definitely adds a lot of unwanted distortion to your audio. So in conclusion, the Thron Max Pulse is really incredible. Design-wise, it is one of the coolest microphones I have seen. Sound-wise, it is definitely one of the best under 50. So if you're looking for a really cool microphone that you can use for audio recording in a lot of different areas, including gaming, voiceovers, or even music, I would definitely recommend this microphone. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below, subscribe to Everyday Technology, turn on notifications so you never miss out when I upload a new video just like this one. And before I go, I would like to give a big shout out to Thronmax for sending this out for my honest review. And with that, this has been another Everyday Technology video. I am Nate, and I'm signing out. Peace.